Hello, my name is Kyode K. Akinrele, and I want to welcome you to a short seminar called Construction Profits from Health, Safety, and Environment on Your Projects. So welcome. There is a new bottom line, which is 9% gross income on your projects can be turned into a profit center for you, the contractor. Seven slides will be presented to you on these topics. The second topic says just 9% of this research and development truth is real. So are you there? Are you functioning with it? Are you benefiting from it? Why are we blindsided by the truth that direct costs to indirect costs on as a result of uh, losses on projects have a ratio of 1 to 20? The cause of this effect we'll discuss, that is a real problem. It is what is bringing about the discussion that you need to tap into 9% profits for your project. We'll discuss the real solution to this. It's just good business to pr profit more and Protect will show you how to do that. We'll show you how construction HSE profits are measurable. And we're going to bring that measurability to your project to allow you to be the go-to contractor for your client. So with this slide, welcome to a new bottom line plus 9% profits. I want to tell you why we are qualified to tell you about it and show you how to make it. I am the senior uh, managing partner of ProTech Engineering and ProTech Engineering has been in international uh, environmental engineering business for about 30 years. We provide uh, have provided turnkey services all this time for over 30 years. We've completed over 7,500 international projects, internationally successfully completed projects. We have a passion, a detail for creativity. We have a full understanding of health and safety and how it infuses with project management, uh, total quality management, and so on and so forth. Um, we, we utilize the state of the art in the process of this. We focus, we are client optimization focused. And that is why when we get involved with your project, we, we bring a symbiosis that allows the best, most efficient performance on your project. So let's talk about just the 9% research and development truth. Research and development truth is real about the 9% profit that is being missed by the contractor. So I want my question to you is, are you earning the additional OSHA research and development 9% that's attributable to your company? 9% is deemed attributable to a contractor who does not have any safety losses. This is well established by the Electronic Library of Construction of Occupational Safety and Health. The Construction Safety Administration of Ontario, as well as OSHA. So are you converting HSE into winning bids? Are you becoming the client go-to company? Yes, you should, is the answer. And I want to tell you that, you see, 9% is deemed the cost to the contractor if you have a negative safety loss, major loss on your project. And it only costs at a maximum 2.5% to build a total safety uh, uh, service to prevent that 9% loss. As a result, there's a 6.5% net profit potential available to the contractor. And in a, in a country like Nigeria, where the cost of the, the safety is a lot lower than internationally, be, just because the, the, the average income is a lot lower, the net potential save, uh, the savings or profit is about 8.8%, knowing that there's only 0.25% or the, instead of 2.5% as the cost of safety in order to give you that profit. So for example, let's look at some numbers. So for a $200 million project, 
at a conservative six and a half percent net pro net uh, percentage profit equals 13 million additional dollars that could be go into the pocket of the contractor of course in Nigeria with the lower costs it would be about 17.6 million dollars this is attributed to, to you as profits from your project So why are we blindsided? Why has this information not been so available and so so usable? Well, it's it's because of the direct cost to indirect cost having a ratio of one to twenty. So basically, your the direct cost that you see from losses, safety losses on your site, is about is is one the actual indirect cost that you don't see is has is 20 times that one so in the long run you are actually losing a lot more than you actually see so what are direct costs direct costs involve medical expenses such as ambulance hospital and doctor's fees medications rehabilitation compensation payments uh, some direct litigation costs now the indirect costs are those that build now and continue into the future such that when you actually expense them and bring them back to the present value your 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 profit on the project probably is all eroded away because the total costs as a loss of a safety loss is so much more than actually planned and perceived okay so Indirect costs involved increased workplace safety and insurance board, WSIB uh, and liability insurance premiums, retraining replacement workers, uh, potential loss of a client and third party businesses, ensuing legal damage and claims, costs and delays of accident investigations cost of closure of the site, cost and time of replacing materials and damage, claims management and penalties from agencies, and it also continues. So what, what we're trying to say is there is much more than meets the eyes to the costs from losses on your safety project, and therefore it must be taken seriously. The state of the art in how to prevent losses must take precedence. So let's take a look. For for an injury of $1,750, a direct injury of that, is equivalent to $35,000 of indirect costs. This is estimated by OSHA. You know, it, it is the lost time injury average estimated by OSHA is $35,000. Meanwhile, you thought the injury was only the cost to you, direct cost to you was only seventeen fifty. So if you have a catastrophic nine percent loss on a two hundred million dollar project, this shows up to you that wow, okay, we only just we only just uh, got away with nine hundred thousand dollars in the direct costs that you tallied up. But by the time you add the indirect costs, you are actually at $18 million plus instead of the 900000 that you thought. So let's look in another way at, at, at what we are, we are in a position to be suffering and missing. For a 35000 average lost time injury, on your project it will require you to earn an additional 3.9 million dollars in new business just for your company to be able to earn at a 10 percent profit so we must take this seriously we must engage and deal with it in the right way to prevent us actually losing a lot more than we think we are Here, here are some graphs that show us um, the relationship between um, investing in safety and, and reduction in, in accident rates as well as uh, uh, making more profit. So 
the, the graphs are from a study from uh, AJ Joseph on safety costs money and it can save you money uh, by Singh, Heinz and Cobble uh, while uh, studying the implementation of health and safety on construction sites. So the graph on the left shows that there's a direct relationship um, with reduction in accident rates as you increase safety investments. It's a direct correlation. So as, as you can see, at a, safety, a percent safety investment of about 10%, you are at a very low accident rate. The graph on the right there, uh, conversely talks about the profits, um, the actual profit a contractor makes versus the safety investment. So you can see that the, it says there's also a direct relationship. The graph is linear. So that means that as you as you as you increase the investment you have in safety the actual profit of the contract on the, on the project increases and if you can take a look and, and the actual uh, profit um, line horizontal horizontal uh, uh, bar um, at about 25 percent profit is realized with about 10 percent uh, investment in in safety so there's a direct correlation and and we must tra translate these correlations into the effective use so you can reap uh what 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 you have uh, invested in let's look at the cause of the effect we've been talking about i.e the problem you know health safety and environment hse is not construction but often the contractor manages it as such. You know, there's a wrong belief system that some construction accidents are inevitable, i.e. they're unstoppable. That, that, can, that cannot be. It just is not true. There's a, there's a premise that project safety uh, is... Actually, the truth is that the project safety is often fragmented and it's not complete. You know, it, it, is, it is put, it is relegated to, to either one or two people and or, or perhaps the supervisors are saying, no, no, don't, don't come and disturb us. You just do your own thing in that section. So it is fragmented, you know, and that's a problem. You know, HSE cannot be boxed or secluded in order to get the desired uh, result it it must be a, a total package you know so so that's th those are those are some of the, the the direct problems now let's talk about what hse is also that is not actually brought onto the site i i i refer to this as often these are often unestablished realities you know hse is an intrinsic it is intrinsic in the project from start to finish. It, it, it's sort of like it's, it's molded, it's tied, it's, it, 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 it lies, it's malleable, it moves as the project goes and it must be adapted, it must be, it must be looked upon. And so, so let's look at it. It must be a safety culture that with training, with building, with coaching involved. It's a system targeted at zero injuries with all that's on site as responsible partners, not just some people. It's a built-in system to eliminate danger. It's an early warning system and an injury elimination backup system. The reality is we must bring HSC into the hands of the experts. Let them lead the project, let them establish the project and let them bring the savings to the contractor. Let's look at the real solution to this. The solution is to mobilize a top brass HSE consultant onto your project. Protec Engineering is a prime example of this. Protec Engineering is an internationally acclaimed consultant with expertise, knowledge, training, and coaching capability to transform any project into an efficient and production focused safety culture. Please pay attention to that, that objective of ours. It's we transform to an efficient and production focused safety culture. That means the entire goal of the contractor is what we are setting up the project for efficiency and production focused with total safety. Now, 
we also implement a thorough life cycle HSE management system with turnkey preparation and monitoring to flush out potential injury gaps. Okay, we also um, provide a turnkey HSE system that is in place and we set it up especially and notify you and expect your corporation that this system must be allowed to operate and not watered down. It cannot be fragmented as discussed. It cannot be turned into a construction project. It is HSE that is the, the, the top um, direction of the project to ensure profitability and total quality. We just want to tell you that it's just good business to profit more. And we want to show you how do you do it, though. To do that, you must engage Protex turnkey HSE management system from start to of the project to completion. And you can expect a project efficiency with total safety. Within six months, we will show you your additional 7% plus construction project profit from your progress completions. You know, really, our desire, our heartfelt profit is in getting each and every construction worker home to their awaiting family safely. Yours is more. You get the benefit of the safety culture and you reap the rewards in profits. What you will be getting is construction, construction HSE profits that you can measure. You should be getting that and you will be getting that. Why? See, with research and development statistical data on cost of direct and indirect injuries on projects, your client's brand association with your top safety contractor ratings on their project is the real contractor's edge today. That is what we will be bringing you. Now, partial HSC, which mostly is run today, is money virtually wasted. You know, they, they, it, cre it still creates large gaps. As such, the lost time injuries are still very likely, and your cost will likely be 21 times your direct LTIs. You know, so total targeted HSE is what gets the job done. Protec will provide the evidence and justification for you and your clients to win you more bids and to establish you as the top safety go-to company. So let's get started now. I'm sure you know that we are going somewhere. So I'll be glad to answer any questions that you have. Uh, you can direct your questions and even any get started requests to me, Kayade K. Akinrele. I'm the managing partner at Protec Engineering Limited. Uh, you can reach me at uh, two th uh, plus 234-805-8218 or plus 234-810-961-6561. You can also uh, take a look at our website at www.protechengineering.net or send me email at k at protechengineering.net. My Twitter account is also at kakinrele1. I'd like to thank you very much for listening and we'll see you at the top.